If you happen to be at the Joe Arrington Cancer Center this morning, good chance you heard a bell ringing. The meaning of it isn't to get your attention, but to let the world know I've won. And today it was Baylor Buckner's turn. Here's Kelby K's Landry Senna. It's yeah, huge weight off your shoulders. I mean, there's there's no better feeling. That girl, she is so tough. It hasn't been an easy road for four-year-old Baylor Buckner. In July of 2020, Baylor had just, she was about to turn two, so we were like five days away from yes. her turning two years old. We had been at the lake, um, she started running fever at the lake, and then we woke up and um, she really didn't want to use her legs, and she kind of acted like she was in pain. Um, but you know, we have Down syndrome and we were swimming all day. She's never done that. But after discovering petechiae all over her body, Baylor's mom, Shana, knew something was wrong. I had a gut feeling. We took her to the ER and they drew blood and diagnosed her within 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Turns out Baylor would be diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I mean, anytime you get a cancer diagnosis, I feel like it's a challenge and um, just changing up your everyday lifestyle. But they say over these last two years, Baylor never wavered. With her having trisomy 21, I think blessing and a curse is mm -hmm. she's nonverbal. So to me, the hardest part was seeing her sick um, and she can't really tell us how she feels. She's actually having Down syndrome. I, I can't remember exactly how they explained it, but Down syndrome patients take chemo way better than, than those that don't have Down syndrome. So it, it was actually a blessing for that part. And they say that long road to get to this point was all worth it. It's, oh, it's, it's undescribable how, how amazing it feels that we are kind of at the finish line of all this. Landry Senna, KLBK News.